Hello everybody, I've been working on the MV1C card reader system and my latest board's just come in today and I was just going to do a quick talk about how I got from the first version to this version which has the option for an NV RAM as well as the PCM CIA card and then it just works as you would expect the MV1C to work. When I got the first version back I wanted to try and add the NVRAM and made the mistake of trying to do it without ordering any boards. And as you can see, I made a bit of a spaghetti monster and wired this up to the underside of the pins and brought a, a Dallas DS1220 NVRAM. And I could not get it to work. There was loads of things going on. I was having really dirty signals, the voltage was all over the place and uh, I spent a good amount of time trying to figure it all out and got to the point where I'm like, okay, I've eliminated as much as I can this is probably one of the reasons why it's not working so rather than messing about, I ordered another board which is this one, but instead of doing the whole thing, which is expensive and also expensive to ship over I just made a smaller version, um, used the same connectors, and then it has just a, a DIP24 socket for the NVRAM to fit on. And um, this still didn't work. But I solved a load of the problems from the wire version, and the signals were nice and clean, so that I could see what was actually going on. And the DS1220 NVRAM was stuck in high impedance mode and the, for whatever reason it wouldn't come out and it has to be the timing the way that it's looking for um, the three timing signals and it was just not happy so I looked for some alternatives and then I moved on to these ST chips so this is the M48Z12 basically does the same thing it's pin for pin compatible this is the exact same pin out as the Dallas chip but for whatever reason this one worked so I was able to put that into this board and I could format the memory card and save my games the other thing that I learned was about the CD1, CD2 and WP and I basically put jumpers onto this so the Neo Geo sees that those are pulled to ground and then it will look for a, a device that it can write to. So like I said, this board was the next step after I'd proven parts individually and I've got the NVRAM added on to the original MV1C. At the moment I have a ZIF socket in for while I'm testing but um, you could have that if you wanted to or it would just be a normal DIP24 IC socket. So this will work with the normal Neo Geo cards. I've pretty much ruined this one in all of my testing, but it will still allow us to save games. I just need to replace the battery again and put the cover back on. Or if we put the three jumpers on, we can put an NVRAM into that socket. Let's just do the demonstration first, showing that the card still works, and then we'll move on to the S, onto the NVRAM. Okay, let's test this first using the original PCM CIA SRAM card. I've switched off for the moment, so we'll just pop the card in. If we switch on holding down all four buttons we can get into the memory management on the UniBIOS. If we go down to display data we can see that we have Puzzle Bubble level 2. If we go into the game you can see I've also ruined my Neo Geo with uh, some graphics corruptions so load a card round two 
And we, we're starting on round two. So now, if we pop the card out, so here we can see the three jumpers. So, card detect one, card detect two, and right protect. So they will all now be pulled down to ground. So we have this ST NV RAM, and I'm just going to pop it into the zip socket and lock it down. So now if we switch on with all the four buttons down, display stored data, and this one also has Puzzle Bobble level two. But if we pop that one out, put this one in, go back into the memory manager. So this one has Pubble Bubble layer level four and Blazing Star. So we can see that I've got two different save games on each of these NVRAMs. And we could also use the SRAM if we wanted to. So load game, round four. So there we go, we're on level four. So that's clearly demonstrating that we can use the NVRAM just the same as it was the, the PCAM SAE card. So thanks for, for looking at my updated version of the MV1C, now with working NVRAM save game option.